Sergeant, high time you and I set things straight about what happened out there on that infiltration course yesterday. Huh? Sergeant Carter, I just want you to know that I think the punishment you gave me was unfair. You had no right to talk to me the way you did, no right whatsoever. Why? I resented it, Sergeant. You talked to me like I was still wet behind the ears. Well, let me just tell you one thing. A man's got a right to make a mistake now and then. Any man. Fire. I mean it, Sergeant. Don't try to make up with me now. You pushed me too far yesterday, and you know it. If you I don't want to hear it, Sergeant. I've heard all I want to hear from you. You just remember one thing. I'm a human being with human feelings. You just remember that, Sergeant. Remember that. You got it? <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. I'll kill him. I'll shove a dishonorable discharge down his throat so fast. Sergeant, wait, listen. What for? You heard him, did you? I know, I know. Hi, I want to talk to you. Then? You just listen to me, Sergeant. You're always complaining I'm never on time. Well, let me ask you something. Huh? Have I ever been late, Sergeant, ever in my whole life? Huh, huh? Come on, speak up. Cat got your tongue? I'll tell you, Sergeant. No, N-O. I've never been late for anything, and you know it. So if you've got any ideas about fussing at me, just forget about it. You got that? Just forget about it. That's all I got to say. Did you hear that? Huh? Did you hear that? Sarge, where are you going? Where am I going? I'm going to throw that meathead in the bridge so fast. Wait, Sarge, it's the same as last night. Hey, Gomer. <laughs> We're going to settle this thing here and now. Here and now. Sure, sure. You say what you have to say, and I'll just wait till you finish. <laughs> Fine, right, you'll wait till I finish. It's time I straightened you out about the way you've been treating me. I know, and I'm sorry about that. You said you was going to wait till I finish. <laughs> I know, but I just thought... Knock it off! <laughs> Something right here and now. You better start having a little more confidence in me, because I've had it with your suspicions and mistrust. Do you read me? Well, yes, I do. What was that, Sergeant? What did you say? I said, yes, I do. I can't hear you. <laughs> Let's hear it, Carter. You just gonna stand there? Oh, well, no, Pyle. I just want to say, I really appreciate your criticism. Carter. It isn't every private that would go to all that trouble, and I just want to say, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now you said it, so head on back to the duty hut. Go on, move it, move it, move it. Hey, son. The quarters this minute, you hear me? But, Sergeant, I was... Knock it off. If you think I'm going to stand out here in the middle of the night listening to you jabber away, you're crazy now. Move. But, Sergeant... Come on, let's go. Move, 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 move. Move it. That's more like it. Move it. Move, 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 move. What's this? Come on, who let their shoe out in the middle of the deck? Could they mind, Sergeant? What size is it? What size is it? Pile when? When are you gonna get your head out of a locker and shape up and be a Marine? I've been lenient with you, Pile. I've been very lenient. But I'm only human. I'm not made out of steel. When you joined the Marines, you came in a knucklehead, and you've been going downhill ever since. I've had it with you, Pyle. 